Hello crafters, this is Lisa with Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. This week's project, I'm going to show you my take on making homemade candles and adding a water slide feature to the glass. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you know each time that I upload a new video. Let's get started making these cute candles. The first thing we need to do is to talk about supplies. The main part of my supplies came from the Dollar Tree. I found these, these white candles and then one red one. So I've got four white candles and one red one. I picked up this vase that they already had at the Dollar Tree with hearts. And then I had a mason jar that I'm going to show you how we're going to add on the water feature, the water slide feature. I also use some essential oils to give my candles a really nice scent. So the first step we need to do is we need to melt our wax. Now those large candles that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, I put into the oven on a cookie sheet covered with tin foil at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. At the end of that 15 minutes, you will see that all of my wax has melted. You may wonder why once it melted, I'm only halfway full with wax. And someone once told me that these type of candles are used with a whipped wax. And so that is why they're not completely full. So I've got my wax out of the oven and it's really hot. And so I've got the four bottles that we did and the red. So the very first thing we're going to do is we need to um, get our wicks ready. And so I am going to go into one of my jars that I took from the oven and I'm gonna bring out two of the wicks. Now this is so nice to be able to reuse these wicks. And what you want to do, and I've played with this a couple times and the wicks like to fall over. So what I have found to be the best is I take a little dab of glue with my glue gun. And I put that down in the bottom and I let it sit for a few minutes. Now I've got these little wooden dowels that use for shish kebabs. And I am going to put that in there. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to wrap that around. But let's go ahead and get both of those wicks done. So again, this is what's so cool about using the Dollar Tree, you know, these large skinny candles, is I'm going to be using a lot of, um, almost all of it. The fun thing will be is to come up with a craft to do with the empty jars, because they're really kind of a, Cool looking jar. I was thinking they make a really pretty bud vase, so I might do some etching on them. Might be a fun thing to do. So what I want to do now before I pour my wax in is I have found, now everybody's probably got their own little technique, but you want to make sure that this is adhered. And so I just found if I wrap the wick around, because you want that wick to stay in the center, um, of your candle so it's going to burn evenly for you. So I'm just going to pull that up like that and I'm just going to put a piece of tape around it. Okay, so that one's ready to go. And I'll do the same one, same thing with this one. So I'm just going to roll it around because it's definitely longer. I don't want to cut my wick now. I want my candle to be done be, um, and then I'll cut the wick. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Got a lot of wax on my fingers, so hopefully I can get that to stay. And that's going to stay in one spot now. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to use a towel and I am going to pour. Now I am going to do these as a pink candle. And so I'm going to pour white in here mostly first. And I love these skinny jars too because it helps that you don't get wax everywhere. You wanna watch as that other wick, that wick was trying to come out on me because that isn't one of the jars I used the wick from. These jars are still very, very hot. 
because they just came from my oven. Remember, we did them at 350 degrees from anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna fill it about, well, that far. I want it, my candles to be pink and not um, so much a bright red, so. Oops. Just hit that wick a little bit. So again, I'm just readjusting it just a tiny bit. I wanna make sure it stays center. I did a few of these as a test run and I lost my wick. And so if that does happen to you guys, um, you either dig it out or what I actually did on one of them is I, um, I remelted down my jar. I let it dry because um, I didn't realize my wick had been, had, I had an issue with my wick until too late. And then this one, I am just going to add a little bit of the red. It'll be fun to see how that turns out color wise. It looks awful red right now. And I'm gonna fill them pretty full. Almost to the brim. And we're gonna let those dry. Now, for these to harden, I will tell you that you can either let them sit out and they take a little bit longer if, they're, if you're gonna let them sit out, or you could put those in your refrigerator. So we're gonna go ahead and let these ones harden up and then I will join you. I wanna show you something that sometimes happens with the candles and I'll tell you about it now and then we'll see if it actually happens with these. Sometimes with homemade candles, you get a hollow or a sinkhole right in um, the top of the candles and it's something very easily that we can take care of. I've got a hot, um, hot gun, um, air gun that you just remelted and do it. Um, I did some test runs and I definitely had to do it on both of them. So it's good to know what you can do to um, correct those. So we're gonna let those dry right now. It kind of looks like cranberry juice. So I'll be anxious to see um, what they look like when they dry. So I did want to check back in with you while they're still um, drying or hardening up. And to let you know, you wait about 10 to 15 minutes um, before you add your scents. And so I've got um, a couple different scents here. I've got an apple cinnamon that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Um, I've also got some of this Creating Harmony essential oil lavender. And I've got a tiny bit of du the doTERRA um, lavender left. Lavender is my absolute favorite. So I'm gonna go ahead and add lavender into um, my candle. And um, you can, you know, whatever flavor you would like, or scent, I should say, not flavor, scent you would like, um, definitely um, add that in. You don't have to have a scent, but um, I don't know about you, but when candles are burning, it's always nice to have them. Um, just the aroma in the house is so nice. So I'm probably overdoing it with the scent here, but um, I've got a pretty big jar here of wax and so I just want to make sure that it's all there. Um, I did end up having a little bit of extra wax and so I did do a third one um, down here in the back here and that was, it's kind of hard to see and I can't move it for you guys right now, but this was a little, um, if I can pick it up, this was a little one of the hurricane um, jars that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. So just happened to have that ha handy in my back room. So I went ahead and did that one also. So we're gonna go ahead and let these harden up. And then once they're hardened up, we're going to move on to the water slide piece of um, this Inspiration Friday and um, show you how that's all done. I like to use design space to uh, print out and design my designs that I'm going to use for water slide. So even though I'm not going to be using my Cricut to cut this design out, I am going to use design space. So I found this really cute heart. I call it a lacy heart. So what I need to do is I need to size it to the size I'll need for my candle. And I've already determined that that's going to be two inches by two inches. So I'm going to go ahead and resize it. And I like to make more than one of these at a time when I'm going to put 
um, on the water slide paper. So I'm going to go ahead and do four of them. So I'm just using the duplicate key there as I duplicate the design. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to align these. And so what I like to do is um, select the image and hit my shift key and do the second one and then use the align vertical option. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the third one and do the same process here. Just select the images, go ahead and select the last one and do that vertical. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my fourth one. Let me um, make my screen a little bit smaller here so we can see them all together. But I'll just grab all four of those at the same time. And then I'm going to align them vertically. So that way when they go onto my paper, they'll be all together. Now right now these are a cut um, image and I want to change them into a print image. So I'm going to select all of them and then down below in the bottom um, right hand corner I'm going to select the flatten feature and you can see now that these have all turned into a print cut all one. And so you can see there on the, the layers panel. So now I'm just going to move over and put it over to the mat um, selection and here all I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as a um, the ability to print it. So we're going to go ahead and hit our next button and it's going to bring up our printer option. Now I'm going to hit send to print and I am going to take off the bleed feature and I'm going to click on um, the system dialog because I want to be able to use my settings in my printer. So when I hit print here it brings up my printer settings and you can see my Epson printer and I am going to take it off of a two-sided print and then what I'm going to do is I am going to select a glossy paper here. So with the glossy paper um, all selected it automatically defaults to a quality of best I am going to hit the print button here and then once my design has finished printing I'm going to meet you guys outside and we are going to put the clear coat cover on our water slide paper. So once I've printed my print on the water slide paper I take it outside and I am using this Krylon clear, crystal clear um, finish. And I'm going to put two or three coats um, of it on. And I literally just hold it out in front of me and I definitely take this outside and shake up. And I just do a good coat and I let it dry. And it doesn't take long for it to dry. And I'm going to do three coats um, of this. And I like to do more than one um, print. I'm only going to use one on the candle, but I might as well do a few of these at a time. I've also done these water slides even with my Fun Stuff Crafts logo. Um, and that's always fun to be able to, you know, put that on. I put that on my tumblers, um, put them on, you know, even just a little glass vase or something is, is really fun to do. I'm going to put another coat on. And it's just as easy as that. And once this dries, we're going to show you how it slides right off the paper. So you can kind of see there's a nice shimmer there to my paper. Um, so I'll go ahead and give it one more spray. And then we'll move back inside and we will get it off the paper and apply it to our candle. So now my water slide paper has dried and it's um, I can touch it and it's all nice and um, dry so what I'm gonna do is I am going to trim down and remember I had said if you didn't want to use design space for this and you just wanted to um, use Word or another you know um, system um, software system on your computer you definitely can I'm just gonna go ahead and cut around where my black lines were um, that came out of design space and then I am going to cut these individually so the reason why I'm doing that is 
I am only going to put the ones in the water that I am going to be putting on my candle. And I'm going to start with one because I'm not quite sure if I'm going to want one or two um, on the candle. So we're going to play with it a little bit. So um, my candle's all done. And remember, we did that step by step doing the candle. Um, here is the other candle all completed that I did in the Dollar Tree um, vase that already had the hearts on it, which is a great, um, great idea to do. But I also wanted to do the water slide feature with you guys. So remember, I did one of the candles in a ball jar. And it's the ball jar that doesn't have all the other writing. So it's that flat, flat finish ball jar. Um, so I'm going to put my design on this side. And so first, what we need to do is we need to take some water. And so I just have a nine by nine pie um, or uh, cake pan that I am going to put this in and it is going to slide right off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and it curls up a little bit and that's perfectly fine. Um, and you're just gonna let it sit in the water. And while that's sitting just for a few minutes, I'm gonna get my jar um, all set up. I like to place my jar on a towel and that gives me the ability to have it lay so it's not gonna move on me. So remember how I had said the ball jar is right here, that symbol. I'm gonna do it on the opposite side, okay? And so I'm gonna take my, and you can see it is just, you guys see that? That it is just sliding right off. Okay, and then what I have is the heart design is just now on my candle. I'm going to go ahead and move it around a little bit. I'm going to get all the air pockets out. And once I've done that, Gonna let it dry and it's gonna dry right on my candle. You guys can see how cute that I got a little bit glare of a light there I apologize but that is just cute as can be. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna let that dry and then as soon as that paper is dried on my glass um, we'll come back and add a little bit of ribbon and twine to this candle and we will be ready to go. So my design is all dried on my mason jar. So what I want to do is just to add a little bit of extra to it. I picked up this um, ribbon trim from Walmart um, at, after Christmas on clearance. And so what I'm going to do is start at the back and I'm just going to add a little bit of a dab of glue and I'm going to wrap this twine and this is just so I can add a little extra punch. And I'm not going to do a lot. I think, actually, I think just the, the two is probably enough. I'll go ahead and cut that. And I'm going to put a little more dab of um, glue gun glue on it. don't always like me <laughs> okay and then I cut a little piece of this um, I picked up these um, little Valentine's um, little stickers at the Dollar Tree and I thought it might be fun wasn't sure how it was gonna look if I wanted to add one or if I want to add one to the top so what I thought I'd play with is really don't want anything hanging there. So what my thought was is I could hang it on the back so that way your candle has got something on each side. So I'm gonna add another little bit of glue. So right there. Oh, lovely glue gun, it just, that glue just goes everywhere. Okay, 
So just to make it look like a little bit of a ribbon, and then I'm going to add some glue to this cute little heart. Put that right on there. And so that way, our little candle has got something on each side. And then I can put the lid on it to give it as a gift. And then I thought it would be fun to put another one of the hearts on top just to finish it off. So I think I'll do this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go with the red one. So there you go. Look at that. How cute that is. We've got our water slide, um, water slide heart that we put on it. We made the candle out of our Dollar Tree um, candles. So you can either do, I've got tons of mason jars, so I love to just add it um, and do the candle on the mason jar. The other reason why I kind of like doing this is I'm not a big candle maker, um, but this is just a quick and easy way in my mind to make candles. Um, I don't have to go and buy all the wax, um, buy all the scents, do all of that. Pick up some of those um, white white um, candles that I showed you at the beginning um, from Dollar Tree. The other thing I noticed today when I was up there is they've got the yellow and the blue, so you can make different color candles that way. And then add your own essential oils in. That's always fun. So this is the one we did with the mason jar. And then this, of course, is Dollar Tree right now has got these great vases up there. Um, and we made um, a candle in that too. So you can go either way. This one I've got a really um, nice cinnamon scent to, and then this one has got my lavender scent because lavender is my absolute favorite. I did want to show you one other way that I had done the water slide. Um, my um, husband works for our local school district, and so I went out and grabbed their logo um, off of the internet. And of course, I'm not selling these, so I'm not making any money on it but just gives you another idea. I did a water slide with that logo and then a water slide on the back side. So done that for a couple different um, items on tumblers. I see a lot of people doing water slide um, on bars of soap. Um, you can put it on you know, wood, all different things. So just think of the possibilities of all those cool pictures that you see out there. You can print it, do it on the water slide paper, and then transfer it on to your material. So I hope you like this Inspiration Friday project. It's a little Valentine's Day theme, but just think of what you can do with candles all year round. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber to my channel, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. And I will see you here next week for another Inspiration Friday. And don't forget, if you don't already subscribe to my channel, please click on the subscribe button and click on the bell and it'll alert you each time I upload a new DIY video. Also, take a look over on my blog at funstuffcrafts.com where I have lots more DIY type projects. Thanks again for joining me today.